Only in Canada will you find the engineering team that has pulled off a feat no one else could. They created a human-powered flying machine claiming a $250,000 prize in a decades-old contest. The engineers that led the team were from the University of Toronto, but they had to go to a neighboring city to find a place big enough for testing. Maravel Tarouk takes us to a soccer complex in Vaughan. It's the ultimate prize in a competition that's lasted more than three decades. The American Aviation Society came up with the contest, partnered with Sikorsky Corporation, a company founded by aviation pioneer Igor Sikorsky. When you throw down the gauntlet to an aerospace engineer, someone in the science community that has this kind of passion, kind of amazing things can happen. History has seen many attempts to create human-powered flying machines. Countless innovations have tried and failed. But this Toronto team, led by two engineers, succeeded, capping off 18 months of unrelenting dedication. We were driven at all hours to make it better, to overcome setbacks and to make improvements to make this impossible thing happen. This homegrown helicopter is powered by another Canadian-made vehicle, a Cervelo bike. Four sets of rotors are attached to the bike with a combination of carbon fibre, wood and string. There's a string wrapped around there that goes straight to the bicycle in the centre. So when you're, when you're pulling, you're pulling on this spool and that's what drives the rotor around. To win, the helicopter had to fly for one minute and reach an altitude of three meters, all the while hovering over a 10 by 10 square meter area. And last month, they did it. That was the loudest yell I have ever put out. <laughs> but before victory, there were a few major defeats. And how many crashes were there? We had two crashes from altitude. Heartbreaking? Uh, yes, yes, very <laughs> heartbreaking. <laughs> While this flying machine isn't going to be soaring overhead anytime soon, the team hopes its technological advances can be used to further aviation and be an inspiration. The entire aircraft we hope to be on public display forever somewhere where lots of young people can be inspired to take on the impossible. Maravel Tarouk, CBC News, Vaughan, Ontario. As Marivelle mentioned, uh, that competition was sponsored in part by the Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation, and that name may ring a bell to some Canadians. Remember back in 1975, it was a Sikorsky helicopter that captivated the country. Canadians watched as it lifted the final piece of Toronto's CN Tower into place. The maneuver helped it become the world's tallest freestanding structure. If you have an idea for Only in Canada, we want to hear from you. Just go to our webpage, cbcnews.ca slash onlyincanada to send us your ideas, photos and videos.